How's it going everyone? Welcome to a new finished up Stripe course. In this course, what we'll be working on is how to use the Stripe checkout existing pre-built page in our existing application. Also, we'll be checking out the pre-built customer portal Stripe page as well. We'll be using that in this course. And then towards the end, we'll be working with webhooks, Stripe webhooks. We'll be setting up an API and things like that towards the end of the course. So this is the finished version, this application here. I'll be showing you how to get this application and run it on your machine by the end of this video. But let's first see what we're gonna be doing within this course. So if we click on login, and I'm gonna log in with an account, and this account does not have a subscription with Stripe. So that's called test. And then when we log in, we successfully log in, and if we go back to the home page. And then here we have an option to create a membership or a subscription. So we'll go to this page and $9 a month. That sounds good to me. And then, yep, I like that. So we'll go to, to checkout. So now we're going to be sent off to Stripe to do our checkout. So let's click on this. And we get sent off to Stripe. And here you can fill out your information. And if you're successful, you get sent back to the success page. And if there's any failures, we have a failure page here. So if we go back, we get sent back to the failure page. Now, if we log out and log in with a account that already has a subscriber, so we'll log in again. And this account right here, customer, if you did the migration and you're following along with this project, you should already have a customer within your database called customer and the password is a really, really good password called password. So if you use this information, you'll be, you should be able to log in. At this point of the course, this customer has a subscription. So let's log in and then we'll log in. And then if we go back to the homepage again, and then now we have this button called manage subscription. And if you click on that, this sends you off to the billing portal. So let's check that out. And this is a Stripe pre-built page for managing the customer. So the customer could come in here, cancel their membership, resubscribe, manage their credit cards. You can even allow them to manage their email, their shipping address, things like that. And then once they're done here, they can go back to the home page. And we go right back to our application, the home page. Now, whenever there's any changes at all, we automatically update our database. And we do that by using a Stripe webhook. So whenever the customer creates a subscription, we add their customer ID to their account. And also we have this subscribers table. This is already set up if you do the migration. You should all automatically have a subscriber in your database or the table. And then whenever you successfully create an account, a subscription, the customer ID gets added to their subscriber's account. And we set all that up using a Stripe webhook. So let's get started. What we'll do is we'll get this project off of GitHub and get it running before we start on video one. You'll find the repository at Oop Coders, and the name of the course is Stripe Course and you'll find it at this link right here. And then you'll find that link on OopCoders. If you're watching this course on OopCoders.com, you'll find it off to the right in the Help tab. And also you'll find a bunch of different links there as well. Like throughout this course, you'll find a link for the snippet page, and you can find the snippet page on the home page as well. So I give you these snippets so you could just copy and paste the snippet right into your project as you're following along. You'll also find this snippet link in the help tab off to the right as well and also this is basically what we're doing throughout this course we're, is we're going to be basically following this documentation this stripe documentation so i'll have this link off to the right in the help tab as well later on this course will be released on youtube and you'll find all those links down in the description so let's get started we'll copy this repository so go to code and we'll copy this to the clipboard jump into the command line. I'm just gonna throw this right on the desktop. So git clone and paste in that URL. Then we'll open up the application, but first you wanna navigate into it. So I called it Stripe Course. So Stripe Course, then I'll open it up with Visual Studio Code. So code dot. So your project should look like this. And the first thing here is the collection file. And throughout the course, I'm using Postman to test our APIs. And that's this right here. So here I have some APIs that we'll be using throughout the course. So if you would like to pull in 
that collection file into Postman, you could use that file for that. The next is the image, and this is a diagram that I'm using throughout the course to show you all the steps that's going on. So I gave you that image as well. Now the back end, the .NET application is inside the API folder, and that is this. And then the front end, the Angular 10 application, that's inside the spa folder. Let's start inside of our Angular application. So we need to pull in a bunch of packages, and to do that, we'll run our npm command. So open up the command line, and then navigate into your spa. Then run npm install to install all your packages. And this will take a few minutes. Why that's setting up and installing all of our packages, I'll close this down and we'll set up our backend. So inside the backend, I already have the migration set up. So if you go inside of the data folder, look inside your migrations folder. And what we want to do is we want to update our database to implement this migration. And this will set up our subscriber table. But before you do that, you want to make sure your database connection is correct. So throughout the course, I'm using what's called SQLite. But if you're interested in using something else like SQL Server, I already have that configured within this application. And to use that, all you need to do is go inside the startup class. That is right here. And then I have that right here. So if you want to use SQL Server, you just want to use this line. And here I have SQL Server set up. And then you want to make sure you set up your, your configuration. And that is inside of this file right here. So whatever your connection string for your SQL Server is, you want to add that here. But I'm using SQLite, and this is all I need to add to use SQLite. And if we go back to the startup class again, and here I am using SQLite right here. So if you're using SQLite and you already have that installed in your system, then you don't need to do anything. But if you're using SQL Server, then all you need to do is just get rid of this line and use this instead. If you would like to learn more about SQLite, I created a couple of videos on how to use that. If you go back to oopcoders.com, and for now I have it down at the bottom on the single pages, and there's one on how to install the DB browser for SQLite. That's what I'm using right here. And then the other one is how to use the SQLite extension within Visual Studio Code. And that's this video here. I also have another video on Postman, how to pull the collection file into Postman. I have a short video on that right here. Now, once we get our connection string all set up, all we need to do is run one command to set up our database. So let's do that. And we installed all of our packages within our Angular application, so that's good. And I'll open up a new window, navigate into your API. Then we're going to use Entity Framework and update our database. So .NET, EF, then database, and then update. And we successfully set up our database. And I'm using SQLite, so what it did is it put my database right here. I'm going to use DB Browser for SQLite to open up this database, so let's do that. So I'll go in here and then open database. And inside of the Stripe course, wherever you put it, go inside the API and open up your database. Now, if you check out your database, you should have a bunch of tables now. And I have all these tables. This is identity, these ASP.NET role, uh, ASP.NET users. And if you open up the users, you should all automatically have a user within this table. So that should automatically be seated for you. And the customer ID should be null. And then you should also have a subscriber as well. And there's that. Now, if you're not familiar with identity, doing migrations, things like that, I also have another course for that. And you'll find that on oopcoders.com if we go back there. And that is this right here, this one. So that's where you'll find that. And that's all we need to do for setting up our application. Now let's fire it up. So to run the API, you want to run .NET run. And this should fire up without a problem. Okay, that looks good. Now let's fire up our Angular application. And I'll run ng serve for this. This also fired up without a problem. So let's go into the browser and see if our application is working. So if you go to localhost 4200, the application should work. And it does. And then if you go and log out, that will clear out the token. 
and you should be able to log in. Oh, and by the way, to log out, you just click on the log out button down here on the bottom right, and then log in and enter in customer and password. And we already seeded the database, so that should be in there and log in. And it's working great. Now go back to the home page. Now, what if you would like to go back to the beginning? Let's say, for example, you want to go back to video one. Well, let's go and set that up. So if we go back to the repository, then go to the commits. And the way I set this up is I set up a begin and a ending for each video. So let's say you want to go back to video one begin. That's the next video we're going to be starting on. You want to copy this commit number, actually this one here. And then back in the project, open up a new terminal at the root, the Stripe course folder, enter in git, check out. Paste in your commit number. That should throw you back to video one. If we go back to the browser and all you should see down in the course list is the video one. Then what I like to do is click on the snippet link. Have this, if you have another window somewhere, put this on your other window. And then while you're following along with the video, you could just come in here, copy and paste each little piece as you're going through the videos. It's a nice way of doing it if you're running into errors or anything like that. Now we're all set and ready to go. So in the next video, let's start on video one.